What's up guys, this is your boy Butter Team Gaming, aka Taris, and today I want to talk about NBA 2K16 and what I don't want to see in NBA 2K17. Last year I made a video talking about NBA 2K15, what I don't want to see in NBA 2K16, but this year I want to do it in NBA 2K16, what I don't want to see in NBA 2K17, if they do decide to make one. But today, we're going to talk about something more focused on the park, you know? I want to talk about what I don't like about the park and what I do like about the park. Well, what here we're going to do what I don't like because you know that's what you want to do first. What I don't like about the park is the fact that when you play the park, the got next spot is still there. Why is that the got next spot still there? That needs to go away. Nobody wants to wait to play basketball no more, you know? I don't want to wait to play basketball, and I know damn sure nobody else wants to play, wait to play basketball. It's a video game, guys. 2K needs to understand that this is a video game. People want to play a video game. They don't want to sit here and wait to play a game. I understand they wanted to make it a basketball simulator, but this is something else, you know? Make it so people can actually have fun and play a video game. Not have to sit on a goddamn spot and have to get, just wait to play. And then... How many of you guys actually played on the, the park before, right? Like, hang with me on this one. How many of you guys played on the park before, right? And you've been sitting on the got next spot for five minutes, ten minutes, six minutes, doesn't matter. And then had a squad hop on and knock you right off. Or have the game, the, the park you're on glitch out. And you, have, you know how it glitches and you have to hop off the, the spot to get back on so the, park, the court you're on will actually work. And then, but somebody hops on when you hop off. How many of times has that happened to you? And I know it's happened to a lot of you guys, including me. I'm a victim of this. I'm a victim of a lot of things on the park. But that's just one of them. The guy next spot has to go in the discussion. I'm not going to talk about that no more. Second thing I want to talk about is the dribble moves. Being able to spam dribble moves over and over again, that just breaks the game. Seriously, it breaks the game. Like, that has to go away. Dribble moves being spammed, people doing the behind the back, the step back all the time, the Steph Curry or the Jamal Crawford crossover or hesitation, it has to go, guys. 2K needs to make it so this stuff doesn't happen no more. So, like, you know how you do the hesitation? They have the hesitation in the game where if you, uh, it's called the auto hesitation. Say you do a crossover and I don't know where your player stops moving forward. Do that for those things, stuff like that, where it's like, if they keep spamming over and over again, that auto hesitation comes in. That's where the auto, auto hesitation should come in. Not on one dribble move. It should come in when you're trying to spam a dribble move over and over again. That could be one way to fix it. But, it's my third thing I want to talk about is the overall lag of, of the part. The lag is crazy, guys. Seriously. I'm tired of the lag. I don't want the lag there anymore. I'm tired of my buttons being delayed when I'm trying to move left and right and the guy's doing his stupid Jamal Crawford or Steph Curry and I'm like moving left and right and they're telling me, yeah, I just crossed you up. That's not a crossover. You're spamming the same move and abusing the lag. That's what you are. You're abusing the game lag. There's nothing else to it. You're trying to say that you're crossing me up and they're killing me. You're not doing anything. You're just abusing the lag that 2K has put in the game and they refuse to take out. How many times have you played my, shoot, the park in 2K15, 16, 14, 13, so on and so on, and etc. And the lag has always been there and does not go away. Do you understand that this lag is game breaking? It ruins the game itself. Seriously. Guys, 2K needs to get it together and they need to get rid of this lag. Why do the games like Call of Duty, Battlefield, Destiny... All these other online games can move, flow smoothly without any button delay or anything, but you guys can't seem to do it. Why? I don't want this to sound like an angry rant, because I'm not trying to make this an angry rant, but this is the problem with 2K. They don't know how to fix these kinds of things. Like, seriously. Alright. Fourth thing. I think I'm on my fourth thing. I think. But, here's one little thought. Oh, one little thing that happens to me a lot when I'm on the park. How many times have you gotten on the spot, right? 
All right, you're, I'm an overall 92. I get on the spot. I'm finally happy that I'm finally getting into a game. Fin- yes, the game's about to end. It's 20 to 19 or 20 to 15. So I know the game is over. And how many times have you got on the on the spot and then here comes an overall 90 or an overall 90 and up? And you're like, yeah, we about to have a good squad. All we need is one more overall 90 or 80 and up. And here comes straggling along an, an overall 67 or an overall 56 out of nowhere. How many of you guys have dealt with that? Because I'm a victim of that too many times. All these overall 55s, overall 56s, overall 60s, 65s come on the park. And then they, when they get on the court, they're trying to play like the Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, getting blocked, bricking shots, missing layups. And you're just like, and they're not passing the ball, they're ball hogging. How many of you guys are victims of that? I am. I don't like that. That's not fun. I want to be able to get on the park and enjoy myself. Even if it's with randoms, at least 80 overall and up. But then you have these overall 60s who get on the court and think they can do whatever they want and they're trying to take over the game when they can't. That leads me to my fifth reason why I feel like the park is not good enough right now. There needs to be an overall cap where you can only get onto the park if you're an overall 75 and up or an overall 70 and up. Like, hear me out here, because this may be a little bit, you know, like, I may be jumping the gun a little bit, but no, this is something that needs to be fixed. Why do stuff like that? Why have it where an overall 56 who has not even touched the career mode gets on the park? I was playing with a guy the other day, and of course, it was some little kid. He comes in the game, he's like, I'm going to play. And I'm like, he has a mic, he's like, yeah, I'm going to play, whatever, I'm, I'm a, like, he was a little little nine-year-old kid 13 I don't know but he wants to play and I'm willing to play with this kid and he's an overall 56 and he comes in the game and tells me I've never even played the career yet I haven't even done the career mode yet then what are you doing how are you in VC where's your badges where's your like you don't have anything so you can't come into here doing like coming on the first thing you do is go straight to the park and try to play with people because nobody's going to want to play with you every time you step on the spot everybody's going to step off and there needs to be an overall cap that's it that's all like i think that's I, that's it man the lag needs to get fixed the park needs to, like the got next spot needs to go the level ca- there needs to be a level cap and i just feel like all this stuff they care more about production and more about cosmetics than they do the goddamn mechanics and the the, the game the, the core game of itself like seriously we have a the big all right how did i forget about this one i told you i'm going straight off the head so this is all coming to me while i'm talking right now seven three centers doing dribble moves like point guards what is that that is something that bothers me how many people have got on the park and had a 7-3 center come on, right? And do the Jamal Crawford and do the Steph Curry hesitation and doing the step back, that step back hesitation that you can spam over and over again. How many people have played with centers that have done that? It's just game breaking and it's unbelievable. You have an overall 95 center who is a, he's a center. He has no dribble. He shouldn't have any dribble moves at all. Coming up the court doing crossovers. Coming up the court, doing behind the backs. And, like, come on, man. Okay, center shooting threes. There's a lot of great centers that can shoot threes in NBA. But to be able to do a crossover behind the back move to a spin and shoot a three as a 7-3 guy, it's just impossible. I don't, it's impossible. The only person I've seen who's done that right now is Porzingis, Dirk Nowinski, and I think that's about it. I haven't really seen a lot of centers who can do that kind of stuff. Like, seriously. Not even LaMarcus Aldridge. But, like, these are things that need to get taken out of the game. And this is just how I feel. You know, please like and subscribe. Share. Tell me how you feel about it. If you think I'm wrong, I'm wrong. If you think I'm right, I'm right. But at the end of the day, 2K needs to fix this. And as always, this is your boy, Butter Tank Gaming, and I'm out of here. Peace.